flip man, flip man. Huh. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag. No mic. So going on, guys. Uh, so we are Z O M P Z Eing today. Um, we will have um, the uh, flipping R two sixty four later on this evening. Also, I was torn whether I was going to do it this morning, but uh, the update came through uh, on uh, Zomps, so you all can have the version that I've been using over the last couple of days now. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get it in today uh, because the update is now available. So uh, we're going to hear the comps from properties. Um, you all to have the alert set, the notification set from uh, YouTube, you're in business. Those of you that don't, then you need to follow these instructions. So, you can subscribe to the channel by selecting this button here. Once you subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell, select all, so you now are alerted whenever we upload new videos like this one and when we go live daily. So yeah, that's very important if you want to get the um, uh, the uh, the um, notifications. All right, so. Even if you're already subscribed, just go back to my channel, tap the little bell, select all, or don't ask for much or whatever. You know, all of this content is free. Just do your boy a fa favor, a gator to gator uh, agreement. It's just uh, subscribe to the channel, like, share, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. What else I miss? Oh, Twitter. That's what I'm trying to say. LinkedIn, Twitch. And Pinterest, we're all over the place, man. All right, so um, as I said, the update is now available, all right, for Zomps. And um, you can go ahead and start to load your properties. We don't see any comments in the uh, comment section yet, um, but um, you can definitely post a property in there that you want to comp. Uh, even if you just have a question, it doesn't have to be a comp question, I'll gladly answer it for you. Um, we have um, the lovely um, Oksana here uh, assisting us today. Y'all can just call her Ox if you want to, what I call her. Well, I actually call her something else, but um, she don't like that name. Um, so, um, Trying to make me sound like a drug. Yeah. Talking about oxy. Uh, oxy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like oxycontin. You know the rest. Like <laughs> but uh, that's uh, it, uh, it's how, how you, uh, it's interpreted. You know, the intent. I get you know, that. I can say. Uh, right. uh, when you want to abbreviate it, that's cool. Say, that's a bad woman. You know, then it's, that's a bad woman. You know, just it's an intent. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Cool. So, uh, but anyway, so yeah, so uh, go ahead. Uh, so we got one in here already from uh, Anthony, but Anthony, please, sir, include the in entire address if you can. Uh, always include the city and state. Um, I can. I wish I had a crystal ball to determine the rest of it, but I don't. Um, so once they can use grant funds to get in the house. Uh, from what I hear, um, I know nothing about that. Um, right. Somebody on now said, Hey, okay. He says, uh, Kinley, North Carolina. So, um, uh, so Let's we'll go ahead this. and do this one. So first thing we're going to do is share my screen here. All right. And, um, let me see. 115 Parish Trail. Yeah. All Kinley, right. North Carolina. Share my screen. I love the infinite. Show you how to go to Zomps. And uh, oh, let me let me add the uh, little banner thing here. Um, let me see. There we go. All right. So um, you go to Zomps. You can text ZZ to access it. Now, to uh, use Zomps, you have to be on a laptop or desktop because it, it is a Google Chrome extension. And, you know, that's the way they have it set up right now. <clears throat> I don't know if they'll ever change that or not. But 
So you go over to zoms.com. Once you get there, there's a video, one of the videos that I did um, as far as um, the comps or whatever. But um, that's a good thumbnail there. It pops. Um, you hit um, that that link up there. Then you hit add to Chrome, add, and boom. You got the notification. You're, you're in business. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just Google that address that my man gave. What is it? 115 Parish Trail, Henley, North Carolina, K E N L Y. All right. So I just Google it. It should pull up here in Zillow. All right. So I'm just going to um, open it here. And the reason I wanted to keep this open so I can uh, look at it on the map. Um, did I look at this one yesterday? Um, Oh, I thought I looked at something like this yesterday. Anyway, so um, uh, so this property here, um, I'm not sure what that is up there. So we're going to go ahead and add this property, and it'll be our target. Okay, so the reason I got the Google map up here, because Zillow doesn't make it easy to, uh, to locate the properties on the map. So uh, we should be right here, uh, what's that, East 2nd Street, and what is this? Um uh scott road okay all right so i close this and i'm going to remove the boundary that's going to pop up here all right uh so we're going to be right in this area right here all right so let's pull up some sales so we've got sold there we're going to remove everything and just add houses and then i'm gonna go in here Normally, I'll do 90 days and see if it pulls anything. I think this is a small town, so it might not pull enough data. So I'm going to go ahead and do 12 months here under um, more. Okay. All right. So um, our property is right in here above this little body of water. All right. So what I'll do is I'm just going to start with this comp here. Okay. And that's not renovated. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, like they tried to do something oh, in there. Okay. there. There's stuff in there. So. Oh, this is a new construction, I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's a new construction. I don't want to use that one. Let's look at this one. Okay, so now, yeah, this was well maintained. I don't know if it was a renovation, but it was well maintained. Uh, that was just back in December. All right, and let's see what we got down here. Um, mm, well maintained. That'll work. Yeah. Then we got this one at two forty. Uh, that's a mobile home. Um, I think it says single family, but it looks like a mobile home. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't want to use that. All right. And what else we got in here? I guess we'll use this one. Um, this might be more than farther away than what we want, but we'll use it though. All right, and so let's um, we'll go back here. So his property is the target on Kinley. All right, so uh, as you see, the suggested ARV is here, but we're not ready for that right now. So what we'll do is, so our property was built in 05. Okay, and so ideally, you're trying to stay within a five-year window, plus or minus. So 2010 to uh, 2000 would be ideal. So this 1979 property, we really could throw it out. Really won't matter, but I'm gonna throw that out. So I'm gonna remove that one. So we got a 07 and 2000. So that fits into the window perfectly. And so uh, we have a property that sold at $197 a square foot. Then we have one that sold at $178. Now, that's a, like four months apart almost. So the market has adjusted. So I'm really, I'm, 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 we're right around $188, but I'm going to eliminate this one because this is more recent and the years are closer. Um, so I'm going to go with this one right here at $178 a square foot. So what happens is, Zomps automatically takes your price, your square footage and multiplies it times the average price per square foot. 
to get this number, which is your suggested ARV here. Okay. So uh, that would be the ARV on this particular property. That makes sense, Oksana? Yeah, it does. Okay. So how this number is arrived, uh, you take this number here, the price, and you divide it by the square footage, and it'll give you this number. Okay. So why is that important? important? Because as you see, these square footages are not the same. So to make the adjustment, we take the price per square foot, and that'll make the automatic adjustment for you. And this is what we get right here. Okay. So you got 289, 250. So we want to take this a step further. And um, we go to dealator.com, open up two windows here. Got one for the calculator, for the repair estimator, and then one for the actual deal calculator. So this property, again, it's uh, 1625 square feet. So we put that in there. That's livable. Uh, so we're at 40,000 uh, and not livable. You multiply it times $40. So 25, if it's livable in most, in most, in a lot of situations, $40, if it's not livable, it's just a generalization. All right. So that gives us 65. So we're at 40 and 65. Okay. We said the ARV is 289. If my memory serves correct. All right. And so we said 40,000 here. All right, and then how much money are you gonna make on this deal? Because you have to do this. Now you can go with the 10,000 if you want, but ideally you go with uh, between seven to 10% of this number. So 10% would be basically about 29,000, right? As far as the max, and then 7% of that number is, is 20,000. So we're between 20, the 29,000. So I'm just going to say uh, 20,000 would be cool. It's up to you, but it's all negotiable. So the blue number is what you need to get it under contract for or less. And the black number is what you'll put it back out there to cash buyers for. Okay. Now, um, if it's not livable, these numbers change. So now you're going to be below 120. And then you're going to be around 137 to 140 is what you'll put it out there to buyers for. Okay, what we got? All right. Um, I don't know what Edward is, why Edward is asking this, but he's asking, can you guys see this? I've been posting addresses, but I'm guessing you guys can't see them. Yeah, somebody know. said that on yesterday. I don't know why we, certain addresses we can't see or whatever, but um, uh, for some reason... It's like it's filtering out certain stuff or whatever. So I, um, you might have to just um, start with the name of the city and let us see if we see that first, and then and then try to try to uh, post the, the actual address. And what you may want to do is, um, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know how to fix it. So, um, uh, good question. I mean, you could probably. Um, uh you could probably do what the other people are doing. Like he said, just text the zip separately and text, you know, the name of the street um, and then the number separately. That way, you know, that'll work. Yeah. Just do that. Do it like that. But um, we have another address here. Okay. I'm ready. 310 G street Laporte. Indiana, 310 G, capital G, Street, okay. Laporte, which is L-A, separate, two separate words, L-A, and then there you go. All right, um, so let's pull it up. So this one appears to be for sale, all right, and... Um, so we'll go ahead and add it um, to make it the target. Okay, now this is, it says multifamily um, here. So um, I wonder how many units it is. So, so it's two homes on one lot is what it is. The front home is 1.5 story. It has four bedrooms, one bath. It is 13 square. Okay. And then in the back home, six hundred. 
Okay, so the back home is just an extra. It's just a throw in. So I'm going to comp it based on the um, uh, the one house that's 1390 square feet to start with. All right, so uh, let's go back here so we can locate it on the map. All right, so uh, you all may be able to do this easier. I'm, this is what my little pea brain can handle right now. So um, let me see. So what is this street name here? Uh, is it J Street? Oh, okay, it's Lincoln Highway. Then okay, then there. All right, so cool. All right, so uh, let's get in here. All right, and yeah, so it's in this area right here. <laughs> Bless you. Mm, thank you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is so let's see what we got in the last ninety days instead of um uh 12 months okay so um our our house was on um g street right uh, yeah yeah so we're see, so we're right does. in here so we got three houses that sold right in here we got one here here okay so boom all right so what i'll do is i'm going to use the uh remove the boundary and use the draw tool here and so we'll just go from here here and come back down here and go back here so boom hit apply all right it gets us in a good range so we'll add this one pretty yeah they did a good job on that so we'll add this one all right um uh, i don't know if i want to add that one i don't know if i want to add that one okay this is cool yeah all right, and we'll add this one. Uh, Maybe not. Uh, you know, it's 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 in there. You know what I'm saying? They just ain't renovated. It's just well maintained, a little outdated, but it's cool. It could get that number. All right, um, and then it's one forty-five. Nah. All right, so we got three of them. All right, so um, the uh, target would be here. Okay, so first thing we do as always, okay, the year built is 1885, so really 1890 and above. So we got this 1910 here, then we got 1860, 1885. Man, some old houses. And uh, so um, really all of this could be in play. Uh, the, the 1910, it's a little newer, but all that's still the same in the same generation. Um, and then the price points are all the same here. So, um, so all of this will work. So this average is out to 103. Um, this may be an outlier right here. Um, is that the one that's, um, uh, that's the one they did the best job on too, though. But okay. So we'll leave that. Right. Okay. So, um, um let me close this all right so um um we have um 103 as the uh average price per square foot our square footage is 1390 so it gives us an arv suggested arv of 143 okay <clears throat> that simplifies it right the next yep. the next thing i'm gonna have up here i'm gonna have the calculators all up in here and it's just gonna be just gonna be able to. This is my vision. I don't know if they're gonna be able to code it to create it, but it's gonna be right there. And you're just gonna be able to just to simply just make a, a little a few idea. changes, and boom, they're gonna tell you what to offer, whether it's livable or not livable, or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, that's great. That's the intent. Now we'll see if I can. And, and then have it to where you can just go to dilulator.com and straight log into Zumps and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so um, so we have um, here, uh, so we have the 143 as ARV, and it's 1390. So now we'll go back over here to the repair calculator, livable and not livable. So we have 1390 square feet. And so uh, we're about 35 in repairs. It's livable, not livable. Mm, I guess we'll stay at 55. So 35 and 55, all right? Okay, so what did I say? 143. Okay, 35 and 55 are the numbers. What are the numbers? All right, so 10% of this number would be around 14,000. So I'll probably just say 10,000 or something like this. 
right? And so um, uh, the blue number under contract with the seller, 55000 with the buyer, if you're trying to make 10, you need to put it out there above 65. Okay, so not livable. You need to be 35,000 or low, but below. And when you put it out there to your buyers above 45,000. All right. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so Edward um, sent us an address, but er Edward, please, it says, says Amira Fair. Um, uh, 12201 Benham Road. I'm assuming. One, two, what? One, two, two, zero, one. Like uh, then Ben, like Ben and Jerry's ice cream, B E N H A M, like the end of ham, Benham Road. Saint Benham Louis. Road. St. Louis. Um, it's, he said, Amira Fair. Mm, what state? He didn't give the state. I was hoping that it will pop up. Hey, Edward. Um, we yeah. need we need the the state, please. We have another one. Um, I, he said correct. I guess it's a my. Uh, uh, what is correct? The um, what popped up? Yeah, I guess he Get, means that it was that uh this yeah. St. Louis. St. Louis. It's okay. is it yeah, he said St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now uh St. Louis is a non-disclosure. All right. So we have to go we have to take the process a little differently. We have to look at what's for sale and use some of the metrics uh to uh determine that. So let me figure out where it is first. Okay, so um we're just above Parker. Road, um, and what subdivision is is Chesapeake Drive? Okay, cool. All right, so uh, let me go back. So let me uh, add this as so we can possibly target it. All right, now we get in here, and let me remove the boundary. Okay, so we open this up. Ah, remove boundary. What was that freeway? So it's 367. All right. So it's on the other side of 370. All right. Uh, is that 370 or 270? No, it's uh, uh, 170. Okay. All right. So where is this thing, man? Yang, yang, and this thing. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, let me see here. What are the numbers? Looks like a lot of stuff going on over there. Yeah. What are the numbers? Uh, let's do this. Let me go back out. Lots going on. Oof. Yeah. Let me. Let's go back out. They're buying and selling some real estate. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so let's see if it goes closer back in. Okay, so here we go. Um, where is it? Three sixty-seven. Okay, so it's right up in this area right here. So let's remove the boundary. Okay, so it keeps doing it. So remove. All right, and so. I'm having trouble finding it. All right. So let's see how this freeway is working. Okay. So here's this body of water, the Mississippi, Illinois. Missouri, Illinois. So I need to be close over there, don't I? I need to be over here. Yeah. And then I think I need to be above here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. What are the numbers? All right, so yeah, I'm up in this area right here. So is that above Parker Road? Yes, right above it. Okay, so we're right in this area right here, right? So what I'm gonna do is change this over because if you notice, if I click on one, it'll show the sold date, but it won't show uh, the amount, right? 
Okay, so what I'll do is, which I can look this up in uh, daily later slash prop stream, but uh, it's not going to allow me to do it here. So I can just change this to any. Make sure I'm still on houses and am. Okay, so uh, just what's for sale in here right now. Uh, we only have just these two properties. All right, and so. Um, mm, we'll roll with it and. See, these are so far apart in pricing. Uh, now, I normally don't like to cross over these major highways. Um, and I don't know how far this is right here. One of the things I don't like about Zillow. Um, I don't know what's going on with that house there. Um, but the pricing doesn't seem to jump. Don't show any renovations on that. Um, this one has been, though, so... Getting a lot of view. This is going to probably be my main comp right here, right? Okay, so our property is this one, so it's going to be the target. And then um, just to look at these, okay, so uh, our property is a 1952 build, and we're comparing to properties that are quite a bit newer, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go to prop stream two to when I look when I come up with a number here. But the one that um appears to um be uh really renovated is this one. All right, and so um I like that. So I'm gonna go with that 131. And so that's the number. So basically around 260. All right, so let's see what prop stream says here. Let me copy this address and um, see what we got over here. So boom, boom. All right, they just bought that too. All right, boom. So we can pull up MLS uh, sales here in these non-disclosure states. So we got number two, four, and seven. Even number one to two, I don't think it's making a different crossing over this street here from the way the price is, is looking. Um, okay, so let's do this. So let's go up to 1957, which is five years more than ours. Okay, so it's only pulling these three right here across the street. Okay, and the... Uh, let me see either one. What's the most recent? Um, definitely throwing that out. Okay, so why are you throwing that out? Um, I don't like the uh, the lot size on it. Okay, that's factoring in greatly. Uh, it's significantly larger than the rest of them. Um, and then the year built. Um, is older it doesn't it don't matter as much all right so now right here is showing the price per square foot is averaging only 86 dollars what do we show over here we show 131 okay all right so that difference in years is making a difference okay so that's what i couldn't see or whatever because i didn't have anything for sale in that price point so mm -hmm. So in reality, you would be multiplying this um, 1981 times $86. Um, 1981 times $86. And uh, that gives you 170 grand. So that's a significant price difference, right? Okay, because the years are so that's 25 years, that's a lot, right? And just style of homes or whatever. You know, when you're trying to compare. So um, so we have 170. So what we said, uh, 1981 square feet. All right. So um, so livable. 50 grand repairs, uh, not livable. 80, 50 and 80, 50 and 80, 50 and 80. Right. Uh, so we're at 170 here. So we're at 50 here. So 17%, 17,000 would be 10%. Um, what is that? 7% times 7%. 
Uh, so we're between 12 and 17,000. So we'll just say 15 right here. Now, guys, you can put in, you can put 5,000 in there if you want, then it's up to you. All right, so we're at 54,000 or less uh, offered to the seller. And uh, to your buyer, you're going to put it out there around 70,000 or so. All right. Um, and then so we said uh, 80 grand if it's not livable. So that's going to reduce this down greatly. So you're going to be below 25,000 um, with the seller. And then you're going to um, be around uh, 40,000 with your buyer uh, on that one. Okay. We have quite a few um, more addresses, but I wanted to address a few things here. Well, um, Chantel Davis said, hello, Ty and everyone. Then um, Better Future said, hey, this is my first time here. Welcome. 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 What was the other person's Could name? You, uh, the other person's name is Chantel Davis. What's going on, Chantel? And a better future, he said. Yep. Better future. Better I like future. that. Better future. I like uh, that. What's going on to you, too? Okay. So explain what, what people need in order to do a deal with you because um, Anthony Cun Cunningham, I believe that's how you pronounce the last name. Um, is asking, can we partner up Flipman? Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons why I do uh, this is being able to network with other individuals also outside of just, you know, offering some value to you to help feed your family. So the first thing you need to do is ideally I want you to be dealing directly with the owner, right? Number two, it needs to be a great deal. Ideally, I prefer that it's off market, not a deal breaker. You need to know what you're doing if you're going to deal with properties that are for sale online and then have it on a contract directly with the owner and um, just, you know, send it over to me. So, okay. And um, then, but that's the reason I'm using these tools and I made uh, one of the reasons why I created Zomps as a free option as of today um, that you can determine if you have a deal or not. So then, then you can graduate up to having, um, you know, prop stream after you have done a few deals and you have maybe a little more money, you can get well, they make a different afford, tool. Making it for it now. So. Yeah. But anyway. Um, okay, and then Damon Murray, or Murray, I don't know how you say the last name, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, is um, asking if this is a members-only chat. No, it's just live on YouTube. Okay. And Anthony Cunningham said he wants to partner with, on the Kenley, North, North Carolina address that you um, comped earlier. What price do you have it at? Do you have it, you know, below the number or at uh, below the number that uh, that we uh, just discussed? Okay. And one more question before we go on and do some more comps, because we have, I believe, two or three addresses. Um, um, what is the process for someone just starting? That's better future asking the question. Um, well, I, I have a number of videos on my YouTube channel. Um, over, well, if you, if, if you eliminate the, the YouTube shorts, over 800 videos. All right. So not that you have to watch them all, but if you text uh, the letters all together, VIP, VIP, to 205-964-5243, then the same number that's scrolling on the screen right now. Um, that'll that That's a playlist that was put together to get you going in the right direction. Okay. So just- a Really good set of videos. So just go to 205-964, I mean, text VIP to 205-964-5243, and it'll at least get you started. Oh, yeah, it's going to take yep. you a long way. Yep. So you got to educate yourself is because my point. Because he said there's I know so many people, layers and parts. Uh, yeah, you got to educate yourself. You got to be, you got to have the patience and the work ethic to uh, put the time in to educate yourself. You know, it's no way around that, right? And so, but that's also training you at the same time to have the patience to, um, to even be involved in real estate because it takes a great deal of patience to do um to do real estate 
in most cases. All right, so ready for some more addresses? Ready. Okay, 62 Shanley Avenue. You spell it. S H A N L E Y Avenue, Newark, New Jersey. Newark. Okay, so. Uh... This property is for sale by owner. All right, so we'll add it. All right, so let me clear all of this first. Move all, let me go back. Okay, so let's add that. All right, so boom. All right, so uh, let's go over here to the map so I can locate it. All right, and um, okay, so what street is this? Clinton and something else. Uh, 603. Okay. So we're just above this deal right here. Okay. So, all right. Um, are we on this side of that thing? Or, yeah, we're, okay. We're on this side of it. Okay. Now we're over in this area. Okay. And we're back this way. Uh, what is that bargain? So yeah, we're we're in here, okay. Right where the boundary is. Well, on this side of it anyway. So what I'll do is I'll remove the boundary, and I'll change this to sold, and still with houses. Then we'll go in here and do the last ninety days. Okay, so boom. So now what I'll do is I'll take my I'll draw tool. And we'll go in here and we'll just go up here like this and uh, hit apply. So now uh, we're honing in right here close to where our property is located. So we'll start with this one. Doesn't show anything. Start with that one. Doesn't show anything. Those must be lots or something. Um, this one. Ugh. Not enough. Um, then this one don't show anything. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead now and change this to uh, six months. See if it pulls more, and it does. Okay, so let's look up here. Still nothing. What I'm looking for is something that's renovated, something to compare it to down here. And what it's probably telling me here then is what people are paying cash for these properties as far as investments, because I don't show anything that's renovated that I can just say, hey, yeah, this is top of the uh, the thing here. So, um, and what are they trying to sell it for? They're trying to sell it for uh, $4.99, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, hmm. so let me just go ahead and go back a year. Well, I don't really want to do that though. Um, what else we got up here? So I may have to cross over this street. Let me remove the boundary. Okay. So let's do that. Still no renovations. Renovation. So let's look at this 445. Okay. That looks good. We'll do that one. Here's a six. Oh, no. Renovation. Yo. So our property is still right in here. So here's another 600K. Don't like that. Why do you not like that? Because you can't see how it looks like. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see when the face you on. All right, let's look at this 400K here. Um, Can't tell nothing. No man. inside pictures. No yeah. photo. No photo. Seven bedrooms. <laughs> That's a row house. All right, what do I have over here? I just have these two. Um, need at least one more. So these here, they didn't show anything. 
Let's go up here a little bit. So there's a real cluster in there. I don't like that. Whatever they got going on in there. Let them have that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it from a different standpoint. Um, Why? Because... Uh, let me look at this here. So let me add this one and see what the numbers are on it. All right. So why doesn't why doesn't it um it oh it's not because it doesn't have any um it doesn't have any uh our property was on what Shangley? Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, these, this property here doesn't have any square footage or anything on it, right? Because this is our target, so uh, I can't, I can't determine that. Um, I'm pretty sure I could pull it up in prop though. All right, so let's see here. It appears that um, let me see what's what's was any of them. so none of them have the square footage on it. Well, this one does, but it it doesn't have. Um, let me see, this one does. Let's look at it. But I don't think that's a house though. All right, so this one does it. Okay, it does have the square footage on it. All right, so I'm I'm not um I can't see the square footage on these um which is very very important. Is these two houses in here? Only one. All right, so am I am I at twelve months? Okay, I'm still at six months. So let's go out twelve. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, where's our property? Where uh, where's Bergen? All right. Uh, uh. So um, okay, we're right below this thing here. Okay. Okay. So now let's see what we got in here. I had to go out a longer time frame. Uh, uh, let's look at this five forty and fifty nine. Still no photos, man. Going on, Oxy. I don't know. <laughs> going on, man. All right. Um, Gary Carney said, "What up, philanthropist?" What's happening, play boy? All right. Um, okay, nothing there. So a lot of these don't have square footage on them. So this one does. Okay, so we're gonna roll with this. All right, and. We're gonna roll with this. All right. What this one say? Who that's a huge house that we gonna use that. We're gonna roll with um okay. Nothing there. We're gonna roll with this one too. Okay. All right, so um what we're gonna have to go about this is uh, these appear not to be renovated properties, right? Um, and they're selling. And um, in here, it, it appears that they're uh, selling at this price point. Now, this property here um, is not getting a lot of views per day. Mm, decent amount of saved. I'd like to see it over 5%. Um but this particular property right here, just comparing the square footage, uh, it sold back in July at 195, but that was in July, things have changed. This is probably more uh, in relation. So let's, um, um, I'll do this. I'm, I'm going to delete all of these and I'm going to go back to 90 days. And what I'm going to do is um, just look at the properties that have um, that are sold in the last ninety days, and then we're just going to average it out. 
Um, it's not going to be a, a true ARV on it because I don't show anything that's renovated, right? And that's very, very important to get an idea of what people are paying for uh, per square foot on something that's renovated. So our property is basically in here. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a single family property. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's do this. Let me let me just make sure I want to see that it exists. All right, so yeah, I guess this is it right here. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't a lot. Okay, so we're going to add that one because I have square footage to work with. Uh, can't add that one. Uh, can't add that one. What we got here, I think that's too big. Um, got this one. Um, let's see here. I wonder, did this... Um, Look at this one. Hmm. All right. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do on this one here, though, is I'm going to um, look to see in PropStream how it was financed, these two. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm going to take the this address right here and go into Prop to see how it was financed. The reason that's important, um, if it was financed uh, by FHA, even new conventional loan, just normal, um, then that lets me know it was a, uh, see, this was a cash sale quick claim. No, I can't use that because they trying to hustle the market. All right, so let's look, let's look at this one here. Man, they spent a lot of money for that. Um, well, let me make sure. Okay, so, yeah. Um, let me see what we got here. Okay, so now this one here, it was a cash deal also. So I don't want to use that either. All right, so um, this property here sold at $84 a square foot. So this property, I'm not going to say that it's uh, that overpriced where uh, the number that they're asking here, but it's definitely overpriced. They've already reduced it 51000 or whatever on it. So um, let me add a couple more. It's taking longer than what I want to on this, but I want to figure it out. Um, well, let's do this. I'm, I'm not going to, uh, I'll do this, you know. All right, so this is where uh, Prospering has an edge <laughs> on this right now. So, cause um, I can't see square footages. That's what's killing this, right? So it's a pre foreclosure. All right, so uh, let's see here. So do we see? We don't have the square footage issue in here that we're having on Zillow. All right, and so now I can just hone in right here by it um, using the draw tool, boundary tool, whatever you want to call it. And um, I can really just get these properties right here. Okay, and then we'll look at the year, uh, the square footage and all of that stuff. So this is a 1900 build. Okay, and so... Okay, 1900 build. What are you going? What uh, are the so, parameters for that for the year? Um, well, everything is still newer than that up to 1910. So that's why I'm going to just do that to 1910. All right, put 20 in there. 1910, normally we like to be around 1905, but that still should be in the same generation of house yep. bills. Okay, the last square footages were similar. And then the square footage of the properties are similar too. So, um, looks like they're trying to get. Uh, if we go with um, what is sold recently, so this is a 1907. The lot is a little smaller, and the house is a little smaller. So it sold at 201 a square foot, right? So the ARV on this house, um, if I take 201. 
and multiply it times the square footage of uh, 2658. So the ARV on this house is 534. I mean, 534,000, and they're trying to get um, 499. It doesn't have any photos. I'm assuming it needs renovations. Um, I have no idea if it's livable or not, but we can try to figure it out on that. We, that's easy for us to do on that. So 2658 square feet. Renovations are going to be high. Yeah, it's going to be high. So um, see, we're at 70,000. On just um, if it's livable, it's just a huge house, old too, and then not livable, 110, 70, and 110. It's how it's just so far from being a deal, just ridiculous. Um, so even if we go with the 534, all right, and we say 70 grand, all right, on something like this, 7%. Would be thirty, almost forty grand, and we're around fifty-four thousand um, at ten percent. So we'll just say thirty. I'm sorry, forty thousand or forty-five thousand is what you're trying to make. A lot of flexibility there. So you would be at around two sixty and below, um, and then you put it out there to buyers around three hundred three or so. Now you're gonna probably sell it for close to, to what they're asking, maybe four. 100, 450 or whatever, but that's going to be somebody who wants to live in it mm -hmm. or whatever. So if they, yeah. if they can get a uh, financing in that condition. So uh, not livable, um, you know, below 220, back out there around 265. So took a minute, but, you know, I had to use PropStream. I just, I couldn't do anything without uh, it producing the, um, the uh, square footage because that's such an important thing in there. So. Okay, so Cynthia Smith said, hi, Flipman, first time in. And then I believe it's two nines, T-W-O, um, I mean, T-W-O-N-I-Z-E-3 said, Flipman, I'm looking for forward to doing a deal with you. And then he said Tampa, so I'm assuming he's from Tampa. Yeah, fine. So. He said, I signed up for the ZZ Zumps. Okay, cool. Zumps. Boom. boom. Okay, Anyone that wants address. to uh, sign up for the tool, just uh, text ZZ to 205-964-5243. What you got? Okay. Amira Fair sent an address. It is 142 Raritan, I don't know, R-A-R-I-T-A-N Road, Linden, New Jersey. There we go. Linden, New Jersey. Yeah, it's down there. Look, it popped up. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so we'll go to Zillow. And we'll look at the map. Okay. So what is that? Uh, Ranton Road, right on that main street there. All right, so let's clear all of this. Remove all. And we're going to add this property. Okay. And let's zoom in. Uh, okay. We're right here. Okay. Cool. All right. It's on the other side of that, though. But okay. Cool. Is it up there? Yeah. Right above the curve. Right in here. <coughs> so let's remove this boundary. So we're back at, um, we're going to do 90 days, uh, make sure we're only doing houses and we already have it set for sold. Okay. So, um, on both sides of this looks like around 500 to 600. So we're good on that. So what I'll do, um, let me zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to do a boundary in this, this little area right here. Um, really don't even have to. That's cool. We don't have to do that. So we'll start here. What we got? Um, definitely hadn't been renovated. Uh, it's a rental anyway. So, okay. All right. So 14. Nope. 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 So we're going to look at this 600. Um, no renovations, but yeah. uh, we'll look at this one. 
Um, yeah, that's renovated because you can see the old photo, new photo. So we're gonna roll with that one. All right, and let's make this the target. Okay, so we're gonna look at this one here. Um, yes, renovated. Okay. All right, let's look at this 629. Can't tell what's going on there, sir. Excuse me, sir. More, please. All right. Um, what we got here? Uh, nothing there. Same old photo. Um, but we got some 900 Ks down there. Uh, uh, nothing there. Miss or Mrs. Diaz right saying there. she's late to the party. That's okay. You can always watch the All replay. Right. I think we got enough here. We just need to remove our property out. Uh, that's a glitch that we need to fix is that it's adding the property back in. Oksana, nope. Okay. It's, it's adding the target property in as we close and open the windows. All right, so uh, one of these doesn't have a um, the square footage, so I can't use it. Okay, um, let's see if I can find another one, though. Um, okay. Um, uh, um, let's look at this one down here. Nope. Mm. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's renovated. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, so ooh, those price per square foot are whoa, significantly less. Oh, this house is 5,000 square feet, though. Ugh. We're going to take that off. All right. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to have to go out six months. Those 90 days ain't getting it. Okay, so here we got some up here. Okay, so now this was totally, this was renovated. Okay, okay so real quick, explain. Um, a better future is asking, what is the reason for the house to be renovated? Why are you looking in particular for renovated houses? So he understands. That's for those that um, don't quite get it. So, All right. In order to know uh, if you have a great deal or not, you need to know the end game. So the end game would be what is the retail price? So if you buy a pair of Jordans, if you know they cost $250, that's the end game. So how do you know if you got a good deal on them? Because you know they cost 250 So if somebody give them for you for 180 you know you got a good deal on them. So you have to know the end game. So the end game is a house that's totally renovated. That's the max that the houses will appraise for in that extra area, right, or in that range. So we have to know the end game, and then we backdoor it, you know, with the calculators and okay. the formula. Okay, so Claire Wilson said, hi, Ty and Oksana. I joined your mentorship, hoping to learn a lot. Thanks for doing this. All right, no problem at all. Thanks for joining. All right, I don't know that this is renovated, but this is like a brand new house, though, so that's not going to work. Let me see. You think it's a brand new construction? Yeah, let's see here. Where is the year built? Don't show year built. All right. So, but well, but you can see there's an empty lot here and now there's a house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, can't use that. Um, let me see. And why can't you use a brand new construction? Um, in some cases, you won't have a choice. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what this house looks like on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I need to see if it's financed or not. I'm going to use this one here because I would like to use that comp, I think. Um, if, if you don't have a choice, you're going to have to go with that and just try to make an adjustment. Um, but you're trying to compare houses. 
Uh, so it was financed. They owe fast. Okay. So you're trying to compare likes to likes as much as possible. And that starts with year built within a certain range, square footage of the property within a certain range, but you can make the adjustment with the price per square foot. And then the lot square footage, that's what you're trying to do. That's the goal, right? Uh, not always accomplished. Did I look at this one already? Yeah, I think yeah, we added that. You have. We added that one. Okay. Uh, so that that's why that's important. Oh, no square footage rent. Okay. Uh, how many I have in here now? Um, okay. All right. So um, so we got this 2003 in here. I got to remove that. We got two 1958s in here. One of them these sold in um, in in October. So I'm going to go with this one right here. So we're back to square one. This is going to be IARP right here. <laughs> so this is probably here is going to be the one that's going to have the most possibility of being what we're looking. Same year, house is a lot bigger, but again, we make the, the adjustment with the price per square foot. So we're going to be around with that size house in that area around 284. So that's 285. All right. So um, uh, if we just break the numbers down on it, um, just what, 1,084 square feet, I think. So that's 30,000 livable, not livable, 45, 30 and 45, 30 and 45, 30 and 45. So we're at 284, so we said 30. Something like this, 10% of that would be 28,000, 7%, mm, probably right around 20,000 20, or so. So we'll just say uh, 25 grand. So um, livable, uh, need to be below 145, not livable. I mean, uh, and you put it back out there around 170 or so to your buyers. Then we said 45, not livable. We're going to be around, um, uh, we're going to be below 130. And you'll put it back out there around 155. Yep, yep, yep. And um, how long is the live today? Two nights, I was asking because he said he's a CDL driver delivering loads at the moment about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can send some more addresses from well, my area. Well, we're going to be we're going to be uh, live later on tonight um, at 8:15 Eastern. So um, we've been rolling over an hour here. So we're about to close this one out. So if you didn't get it comp uh, just now, uh, just make sure that you um, you join us tonight at around 7:15 or so p.m. Eastern, just check your times accordingly based on the Eastern time zone. So you live in Central Mountain or Pacific. So so again, uh, you can add Zomps and start the user too. The update is available to you guys. So what I got, you got, or whatever. So um, you uh, can start using it. You can go back and reference, you know, the last couple of videos I've been using, the updated version. It gives you a suggested ARV amount now, uh, very important to uh, determining, you know, where you should be. You can target the property that you're uh, looking for, and it's just going to automatically calculate it for you uh, in most cases. So uh, now it does land and, you know, you can do rental comps and everything, but we've mostly been doing houses, which is fine. So um, start using it, guys. I'm going to add uh, be my, my coder slash programmer won't be available to the end of the month. So the next update probably won't be until May or whatever. And that's when we're going to really try to take it to the next level. But I think it's very useful now. You still, you see, I still need to combine it with the paid services too. And the, but, you know, I know everybody can't afford it, but if you can, you, it's, Start they're, they're different. <laughs> they're different. They do some of the same things, but I still need the, the, the delayed slash uh, prop stream to to um to to look at some things that uh, Zillow just does not provide because Zomps is just pulling information from Zillow. Just understand that, so it's limited. So the whole purpose of it is to make Zillow more real estate investor slash wholesaler friendly to be able to do deals. So to get prop streaming, you want us to train you on it. Just 
Go to digalator.com. See my site here. Select the five-day free trial. You see that orange button. And that'll get you going. And you can see who owns the property, what they owe, dive deeper into comps and stuff. So, But anyway, so um, um, again, uh, you can access Zomps uh, through the website or you can text ZZ to 205-964-5243. Again, we should be back on live later on tonight around 8.15 p.m. Um, make sure that uh, you share this, like it. And remember, you really need to do this if you want to get these alerts when we go live. Um, and when I upload new videos, you really want to do. Subscribe to the channel by selecting this button here. Once you subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell, select all. So you now are alerted whenever we upload new videos like this one and when we go live daily. So we had two more questions you said? Well, well, they're not really questions. They're just comments. And um, Casey Diaz, well, she's just asking for people to wish her good luck. She said, use your land sale agreement. Seller is reviewing with his agent. Wish me luck. This would be my first. And then um, JG. Well, now, if the seller has an agent, meaning like if the property was listed, the agent is only going to want to use their contract. They're going to probably only going to want to use their contract period if they're involved in the deal. Now, if they're just asking an agent friend or something, thing and whatever, but if it was a listed property for sale on the internet somewhere or for sale sign on the yard or whatever within the real estate agent, they're only going to want to use their contract. Right. So, um, Maybe I'm wrong, but normally that's how it works. What's the other one? Okay, the other one is um, he said, um, JG said, I've been following you for about five years and got really close to closing my first deal in 2019. I have a few different properties as of now that I'm trying to get under contract out here in South Louisiana. All right, and great. that's it. All righty. Um, so, uh, uh, guys, uh, you can join us later on tonight uh, for Flippin' Art 264. Um, if nothing else, we'll see you guys later on this evening. And she said, actually, off market, an agent is a friend. So, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. So Flip man, flip man, it's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit.